Good morning. My name is Jarl Kubot with West USA Realty and Arizona Retirement Communities. I specialize in selling homes and retirement communities throughout the Phoenix metro area. I'm in Mesa, Arizona. I'm going to give you a video tour of a home in the 55 plus retirement community of Sunland Springs Village. This video tour is a request from uh, Gloria and Daryl. This is the home that you guys inquired about here the other day. Uh, it is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,660 square foot home. Uh, built in 2002. It's a north-south orientation. Sits on the uh, north side of the street facing south. It's got an all-tile roof, two-car garage, nice front and back patios. This home has been for sale for a while, um, so I'm going to uh, tell you what I think about the home because uh, I do work for you, the buyers, and I do not work for the seller in this instance. So here we are looking down the street to the east and then these are your neighbors straight across the street from you to the south and this is looking down the street to the west so let me start off with telling you a little bit. The yard is completely fenced in. We do have a, a nice wide, I believe, eight foot gate there on the east side of the home next to your neighbors over there. We got a nice front covered patio and then uh, the, uh, we've got a gate around to the west side of the home as well. We need a little paint here by the garage door on some of the trim, uh, but your fascia and the soffits all look good. But right there we need a little bit of paint. We got a 200 amp electrical service as we do in all of these homes and we've got another six foot gate on this side of the home. We've got uh, trees and bushes throughout the yard. It's all on automatic sprinklers. And so you can shut the water off for the house if this is just going to be a winter home for you. You can shut the water off for the house and leave it on for all your trees and shrubs. We're giving you some live, raw, unedited, lots of blooper video here this morning. So uh, uh, hang on to your eyeballs and hopefully we won't make you too dizzy here this morning. So right here in the front, right by this window here, that is our shutoff for our water for the whole house. But it's plumbed so that, again, it stays on for the watering system when you, uh, when you leave for the summer. The, uh, we've had a number of dust storms, so the home on the exterior is dirty. Uh, it's just, just got a lot of dust in the stucco, but otherwise the paint and the stucco looks perfect. So we step into the home. We do have a slight smoker smell, and I think that's part of the reason that the home hasn't sold. Although they've, they've done quite a bit since it was first listed, so I don't smell it as bad as I used to. Um, they have, uh, it appears that they've stuck all new carpet in and they've repainted floor to ceiling. Uh, I think uh, I've had several people put in those ozone machines. I'm very sensitive to cigarette smoke, very, very sensitive, and this one isn't, isn't as such that it makes me have to gag and get out of the house here right away. We've got ceiling fans in all of the rooms. And again, the carpet looks very nice. I, I think you come in and put one of those ozone machines in for 24 hours, it costs you $55 to rent one of those. And I've had people have very good luck with that. Uh, it just depends on how sensitive you are to it. Nice open kitchen. This is a very popular floor plan. We've got uh, that door there in the kitchen that is, leads to a food pantry there and then our laundry room, the open door there, leads to our laundry room and garage. We have Formica countertops. Our appliances are a bit dated in this home. They, they are original as 2002, uh, but they appear to be in working condition. We've got some nice recessed lighting there in the kitchen. And then here is looking back towards the front door. This is the split bedroom floor plan where our master is on the west side of the home and uh, our uh, one bedroom and a den could could have been three bedrooms is on the east side of the home and we'll show you that. So here we are going into our master bedroom we've got six panel doors on all the, do on all the bedroom doors and closet doors and again, we've got a, a nice carpet with a good padding on it. And it's all been, the whole home has been painted the two-tone paint 
uh, white trim and uh, a, a dark, uh, a darker tan. And here's looking outside of the master bedroom, and that is a hallway closet there, a vacuum cleaner, coat closet, what have you. We've got two closets in the master bedroom, in the master bath. Uh, we've got, as we first walk in, we've got just a smaller, again, like coat closet, uh, and then we've got a linen closet on the left side. That is a mirrored doors, and then we have our walk-in on the left side, and it's all shelved, lots of shelving. We've got a nice garden tub. We've got double sinks, exhaust fan in there, and then we have a very nice and a very clean uh, shower. And we've got uh, linoleum floors in there, and the linoleum looks very good. Again, all the carpet looks very good. It sure does look like it's new. We've got the blonde oak cabinets here. Although they're they're very nice, uh, no scuff scuff marks on this uh, on these cabinets in this uh, master bath. We're going to take you back out to the kitchen part here. We've got nice plant shelves up above there, pot shelves. And uh, we've got some built-in nooks uh, in the house uh, directly above me as we were looking, uh, standing in the family room looking towards the master bath. Again, cabinets are in good shape. We've got a few watermarks around the sink here, uh, but, but again, not warped or anything. It looks like they could be polished up or touched up a bit, but nothing out of the ordinary for a 2002 home. We're going to need a washer and dryer. We do have a sink in here. Everything in Sunland Springs is electric. There is no gas in this community, as in most of the communities in Mesa. We've got lots of nice built-in shelves in the garage here. And uh, very nice setup. Our hot water heater is over there in the corner and then we do have a water softener loop it's all plumb for water softener and the plug-in over there in the corner um, wouldn't take much to add one otherwise garage is very clean no cracks in the floor in the garage that I can see at all uh, the only thing that we'd want to do is is possibly uh, is insulate the garage door is about the only thing you'd want to do because it does face south. It helps keep the home much cooler when you're gone. But you can buy the panels for that at Home Depot or Lowe's. And they're fairly inexpensive. So looking straight ahead onto the east, uh, yeah, excuse me, east side of the home, we've got a hall closet again, linen for the bathroom, and then kind of a coat closet there in the hallway. Uh, this bathroom, our guest bath, has a full bath and shower in it. And again, the home has been painted floor to ceiling. Looking towards our uh, front bedroom, this is our, our guest bedroom. And we've got a very nice double closet. I took lots of pictures of this, so I'm not going to take you in off the video camera because it's a little bit tight with the camera to see much. And then towards the back northeast corner of the bedroom, this is the one that we're using for our den. It's uh, just a little bit smaller than the front guest bedroom. And uh, they didn't put a closet in this room, otherwise it could have been a third bedroom. It, all it would have needed to uh, be done is go ahead and frame it in because the indent is there and that's the size of what your closet would be. All these rooms have cable and phone outlets so you can have TV in any of these rooms. And there we are looking back towards the kitchen, the laundry room, and the master bedroom. Your dining area there where the chandelier is. You guys, very nice home. We've got some upgraded uh, uh, blinds on the windows, your heavier uh, simulated wood blinds. And we've got a really nice yard. Again, this is facing north. We've got a nice covered patio. They've got a uh, 
one of those plastic utility sheds over there in the corner. And I believe we've got about a five, six foot high fence all the way around the yard and, and gates on all ends. A very nice home. They have all of these bushes here on, and trees on the automatic watering system. So they're getting water while you're not here. And we'll try and show you both sides of the home here. Again, for those of you, uh, this is the infomercial part of this video. For those of you that have stumbled into this video looking for a home in an Arizona retirement community for yourselves, my name is Jarl Kubat with West USA Realty and Arizona Retirement Communities. You can visit my website at www.justjarl.com. That's J U S T. JARL.com. You'll find over 50 plus links there to retirement communities throughout the valley. Call me with any questions. I'll be more than happy if you're thinking about coming to see a home that you found on my website. Uh, give me a call and I'll run out, do a video and pictures, and tell you what I think of the home for you. Tell you how I think it's priced and give you some great advice. And then here's the back of the home. So we're going to go ahead and step inside. Uh, again, uh, uh, thanks for your inquiry uh, about this home, uh, D Gloria and Daryl. I hope this answers some of your questions. To those of you who are watching who are veterans, tomorrow is the 4th of July. I would like to personally thank you for your service. And... Uh, and again, a happy and safe 4th of July. Gloria and Daryl, please give me a call if you have any questions on this home or any others. I look forward to meeting you in person, and I'd appreciate your business. You can reach me at 480-710-6326. Thank you.